Captain America. bomb in the plane that just took off. What's the radio wavelength of that plane? 1575 megacycles. Thanks. Calling Gail Richards. Calling Gail Richards. Come in, Gail. This is Gail. Go ahead. There's a time bomb in your plane. Bail out. Bail out. Okay, Grant. Scarab must have feared the blowgun would lead directly to him, or he wouldn't have gone to such extremes to destroy it. He certainly did a thorough job. There wasn't even a fragment of it left in the wreckage. I don't think those two prisoners will help us much. They're just two small-time thugs hired by Matson for that particular job. I wonder if the Scarab ever heard that the police make plaster of Paris copies of all important pieces of evidence. Well, we didn't have time to make a replica of that blow gun. I know that, but the Scarab doesn't. We could let the news leak out through the underworld that we have an exact duplicate from which Grayson can identify the owner of the original. And I'm willing to bet it won't be long before the Scarab hears about it. Go ahead, Mark. Number 31 reports that DA has a plaster model of the blowgun. He wired Grayson to come here to identify the owner. That's all. A model? Why did they make a model of it? Routine procedure, I suppose. This calls for action. We have no time to lose. We must find out where Grayson will go when he arrives. Put every available man on the job. Check reservations on every train, bus, and plane coming into the city. Find out about all reservations in all the hotels. Get started immediately. This is a good reproduction, Walt. Should serve our purpose. But I'd like to see somebody translate those fake Mayan hieroglyphics I painted on it. This is attorney's office. Yes, Commissioner. He's right here. Yes? They fell for it, Grant. A man just asked about Grayson at the Hotel Metropole. And they told him that he reserved room 504 for this afternoon. Fine. That's just what I hope to hear. Have you got a man at the Metropole? Yes. Donovan is taking the doorman's place. All right, leave him there. But don't have anyone else around. I want them to be able to get away with the blowgun so we can follow them to the scarab. We'd better give them a little time to get organized. Then we'll deliver this right into their hands. <laughs> Press the 
doorbell, and on the second chime, the wire will burn through, causing the tube to drop and break. The gas spreads rapidly and will knock out anyone in the room in a few seconds. Anything new, gentlemen? Yes. Matson and two others went in a few minutes ago. One of them stayed in the lobby, a lookout, I guess, and the others went up to the room. What about that car? Parked around the corner. Drive around and watch that car. If they should leave before I can get back, trail them. drove out of the alley and Miss Richard after. I'm here. Take my car. Thanks. Calling Gail Richards. Calling Gail Richards. Come in, Grant. Where are you? Going out Jefferson Road. Matson's about a quarter of a mile ahead of me. Don't get too close. I'm following you in Gunnivan's car. Keep me posted. Right. Come in, Gail. They just turned off toward that old barn east of the river. I know the place. Drive past it, then double back and keep an eye on it. I understand. Don't start anything unless you absolutely have to. I'll have this fixed in a minute. I'll hurry it up.
Calling H1. Calling H1. Come in, M3. Did you get the blowgun? Yes, everything's okay. I'm not so sure. Norton hasn't reported in yet. He hasn't? I better go back to the hotel and find out what happened. Norton must have gotten in trouble. I'm going back to look for him. You're staying right here, Matt. Back up. You too. Tie him up. That was quick and easy. As far as she's concerned, yes. But she worked with Captain America, and he's probably on his way here now. We have too much stuff belonging to the museum stored here. And we can't take a chance of letting anyone find it. Spread a powder thing. We'll blow up the whole works and the girl with it. All set. <laughs> 